Today, we're talking about self-inflating mattresses. And I've got some good ones here. I've got three different mattresses that I'm gonna be trying out. Just got here to our boys camp weekend. We're doing a, a four day father son camp out with about 30 dads and kids. And it's gonna be a good time. But we got three nights out here and I got three pads and I'm gonna be trying out one each night. And we've got kind of a good, better, best uh, comparison for you. I've got the Elegir self-inflating mattress. Um, in theory, the, the good one. Uh, it's definitely the least expensive option. Uh, we've got the Nemo Roamer in the middle here. Um, and this is the you know top of the line, theoretically best option. And then we've got this uh, other one on the bottom here. This is the Ampex Camp Bed. And I'm excited to try that one out. They don't even call it a camp pad. They call it a camp bed. So <laughs> sounds pretty cool to me. Um, so these are all pretty comparable sizes, um, just different price points. And so, uh, like I said, I'm gonna try one out each night and let you know how it goes throughout the weekend. And um, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I've got these puppies self-inflating for the first time. All of them say that they take a little bit longer. Normally it's like a couple minutes to inflate, um, self-inflate. We'll see how well that really works. But uh, the first initial inflation takes you know, about 20 minutes, they said. So I've got them all self-inflating right now. We'll give them some time to do their thing. Uh, and then we'll, we'll check them out and see how they do. Hey y'all, my name is Adam and this is Dad Camps and I like talking about getting outdoors with my kids and going on adventures and talking about all the gear that goes with it. Uh, if you'd like that too, uh, make sure to hit that subscribe. But for now, let's jump into the video. It's kind of a pain. Like, hopefully once it's in place, once it'll not mm -hmm. need to get inflated again like this. This is about the like seventh one I've done. Is it pretty high pressure? Now it is. But... Yeah. That's pretty good. No! <laughs> <laughs> Flat again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so after night one, I have an update on the Nemo Roamer. Uh, I decided to go, you know, trying to try the best, quote unquote, for, for first, uh, so that I can kind of like gauge, you know, <laughs> what I uh, what I might be missing on the other ones. I gotta say, less than impressed with the Nemo Roamer. Uh, I think part of it was maybe it was a little overinflated, so there might be a little bit of a learning curve to this, but um, I kept like having, you know, my arms fall asleep and, you know, it did not feel cushy and comfortable to me. So uh, about halfway through the night, I tried to adjust the, I tried to adjust the inflation level and could not find the micro adjustment um, tab. And so uh, honestly, could have been doing it wrong. I'm gonna have to look at it closer, but went to go try to do a micro adjustment and like let out a little bit. Whole valve popped out. It started like spewing air out and I had to try to get it back really quick uh, to not lose all the air in it. And it was a little better after that. So it definitely could have been overinflated, but, um, but yeah, whoa, check that out. I don't know if you saw that hummingbird, but that was amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, tonight I'm gonna be trying out the Ampex camp bed and we'll see how that goes and I'll try to get the inflation level correct <laughs> before, I start, before I go to sleep, but uh, I'll keep you posted. All right, so night two was on the Ampex camp bed and I gotta say, not too shabby. It's actually really comfortable. I did deflate it some more before going to bed but then I also had to adjust it again, and I don't know if I can show you here, but the micro adjustment part is actually much easier. You just push this little button right there, and then pop that back in. 
So I was able to soften it up in the middle of the night and slept great. I feel like this little ridge system that it has, this grid, keeps you from sleeping, slipping around on it. And it felt like plenty of space, really big. Good night's sleep. So tonight we'll be going with the Elegir budget option and we'll see how that one goes. And anxious, interested to try the one, that one because it has a pillow integrated and I've never tried one like that. So it'll be interesting to see. So I will bring you back after trying that one. Well, three nights down, three mattresses tested, and I've got some results for you. All right, so I finished night three with the Elegir self-inflating pad. And um, I'm gonna say it was probably the least comfy of the three. Um, probably enjoyed that the least. And mostly I think it's because it was a little, it's a little bit skinnier. The other ones are XL wides and this one is, I, I don't think it's a wide, it's definitely a little bit skinnier. So that's a little bit of a pain, a little bit of a problem, uh, cause I kept kind of finding the edge, but um, it's also, it's just not quite as cushy um, as the other two. It's not quite as thick as you can see as well. Um, but having said that for, you know, $70 or whatever it is, I'll put the link in the description, but for like a budget self-inflating pad, solid. I I would definitely say if that's your price range, uh, I would recommend it. It's nice. It was easy to adjust. There's no micro adjustment, so you have to pop these little things off here and let the air out. I already did let some air out there, but um, the thing I was kind of disappointed in was the... Uh, pillow I was kind of had high hopes that the pillow would help because I'm a side sleeper and I'm like having the extra loft and I can't say that it I really noticed it you know it's kind of hard to stay on it and uh, but it didn't hurt either so it didn't feel like it was in the way or anything like that so not not a bad experience so um, all in all I've got some other thoughts on all three of them and I'll go back into my um, office studio uh, when I get home and I will um, do a full review and recap of what I think of these three pads. All right, so I'm back in my office now, and honestly, I was a little bit surprised by how hard these pads were to roll back up to the you know packed size that they should be. And so basically, I just kind of folded them up and roughly put them back into my truck for the drive home. And so now, back in the office, I'm gonna actually go through and do a more thorough job of packing these back up. I'll film each one of them so you can kind of see you know, how easy or difficult each one is to repack. All right, so I'm gonna start off first with the Nemo Roamer. Let's get this bad boy all packed back up. Next up, we got the Ampex camp bed. I'm gonna roll this thing up, pack it down, see how it packs back up.
right, so I'd like to kind of wrap up my thoughts on these three self-inflating pads, go over some of the specs more specifically, and kind of give you my final thoughts on which one I prefer, which one I think falls into the good, better, best category. I'm gonna go through the different specs and I'll share the spec for each one as I go through it. And so starting with the price, lowest to highest, the Elegir sleeping pad is definitely the most budget friendly option at $79. I think it's 85 normally, but right now it's on sale at 79. And of course I'll put links to all of these in the description so you can go check the current price. But uh, currently priced at $79. Ampex Camp Bed is on a sale right now and it has been on sale for uh, a month or two or something like that. I think they're trying to get these out into the market so they've kind of had an ongoing sale on these, but retail price is $149. However, the, like I said, on their website, currently on sale for $89. So only $10 more than the Elegir. Come back to more on that later. Nemo Romer here, this is definitely the luxury version of the comparison here. And, and it is priced at a premium $249 currently. And so getting into some of the size comparisons, the Nemo Roamer and the Ampex Camp Bed are both XL versions. So the Ampex Bed has dimensions of 79 by 31. This is the largest of the three here. Nemo Roamer has is 78 by 30 inches. And then the Elegir uh, does not have an XL size version of it, but it is 77 by 27. They do offer a double size pad, but as far as a single pad that's XL, uh, they don't have an XL version. However, 77 by 27 was plenty roomy for me. I'm definitely more of an XL guy. I'm 6'2", but I did not find any of these pads to be too small or uncomfortable. I mean, a 27 inch wide pad is still plenty roomy to not be falling off the side or anything like that. However, I will say that sleeping on the Ampex camp bed did feel a bit luxurious. It felt much roomier and it was nice to have the extra space. And then as far as packed size goes, obviously there's a big difference in how these all pack up. And so the Ampex and the Camp, the Ampex and the Elegir pads both just roll up straight. So their, their packed size is also their width. So the Camp Bed pack dimensions are 31 inches, which is the width of the pad, uh, and, a, and seven inches high. The Elegir is similar. It's 27 inches wide, packed up. And it says seven and a half inches on the pack size, which I think might, I might could get it packed a little bit tighter than that. But yeah, it's, it's pretty comparable in diameter to the Ampex camp bed. So you can kind of see there, I think a little bit thicker um, on, the, on the Elegir pack size. Uh, that's one of the areas where the Nemo Roma really shines is the packed size. So, so when you're folding it, you're able to, uh, as you saw, fold in half the, t the two sides. And so you're kind of able to roll this up into a much smaller dimension. It is thicker. So the dimensions that they give are uh, 10 by 16 on the Roamer pack size. So about half the width of the other guys and then close to the same height, which is pretty nice. Is it, you know, a hundred to uh, $150? worth of nice. I'm not sure about that, but if storage space is a premium at your house, then maybe maybe it's worth it to consider something that packs up a little bit tighter. All right, the R value is something that I thought was interesting between these. R value of the Ampex and the Elegir are both uh, nine plus. The Elegir actually has the highest R value of the three of these at 9.5, which is very impressive for a budget level sleeping pad. Yeah, and the Ampex is 9.1, so fairly comparable um, to the Elegir. The Nemo falls a little short in that category with a six. At an R value of nine, you're gonna pretty much be able to use that in any kind of uh, season. And you could use it in the winter. Uh, at six, you're definitely going to have some times when that's going to be not warm enough. Most of the time, probably 80% of the year, that's gonna be fine depending on the climate you live in, but uh, it's still at that price point. I am surprised to find that falling a little bit short of being something that's a true four season R value. 
And so moving into weight, uh, I think that's one area where, where you're getting an advantage with the Nemo because the Nemo is the lightest of the three. So, you know, you're sacrificing some R value there, uh, but it is lighter if you were going to be, you know, taking this on a sled, winter camping or something like that. To me, the weight on these doesn't really factor in as much because you're going to be bringing it in your car and probably not going to be carrying it very far. Um, although I, I could see maybe putting them into a sled and taking them uh, kind of winter camping in the snow or something like that. Uh, but again, is this one going to be warm enough for that? Uh, maybe not. Uh, but this one is 5.5 pounds, which is the lightest of the three. And then we've got the Ampex gear coming in at seven pounds. And the Ella gear is the heaviest at eight pounds. And any kind of additional things obviously they all come with their own carry bags which is nice um, the ampex bag has these little handles on it like this which is kind of nice to grab it does not have like a shoulder strap on it so you can't just like throw it over your shoulder unless you use this cord i guess but that would be kind of awkward uh, i do like the shoulder strap on the ele gear the nemo does not have any kind of strap whatsoever except for the tie at the top and then the Nemo and the Ampex both come with a inflatable stuff, I mean, an inflatable compression sack, air compression sack for adding additional air. However, I do not recommend using those uh, as I'll come back to in just a minute. Um, you definitely don't want to over inflate these. So I think if you have to add a little bit of extra air, blowing into it once or twice is probably going to be sufficient and you don't really need the compression sack. Uh, the L gear does not come with that um, option, but again, I don't think you really need it. You could either use a flex tail pump or, you know, an electric inflatable pump or just blow into it a couple times. The Ampex and the Nemo both come with patch kits and the Ampex comes with a nozzle adapter for if you were going to be using an inflator. All right, so I think that covers it as far as the specs goes. So now just to give you kind of my overall impressions and kind of final thoughts of what I thought of these pads. Uh, first of all, I think they were all really great pads. I was comfortable each night. I definitely enjoyed sleeping on these than any of the like inflatable air mattresses that I've ever slept on while camping. These definitely were an improvement on that. So that was awesome to find out. So while they're a little bit bulkier and you know, harder to store. Uh, I think you're going to get a more comfortable sleep while camping when using these types of mattresses. So cutting to the chase, the one that I found the most comfortable sleeping on was the Ampex camp pad. I definitely enjoyed my night's sleep best on this pad. I found it the most comfortable to lay on. It was the widest and the largest. The texture of the mat was cool. I liked it. Just overall most comfortable night's sleep. Uh, I definitely felt I had on the Ampex. Now the Roamer and the Ampex do have similar feeling and I'll caveat my conclusion with, I think I had the Nemo Roamer pad over inflated the night that I was sleeping on it because it, it definitely felt too hard and like my arms fell asleep at one point. Um, I did try to deflate it in the middle of the night and uh, user error, I think I was doing it wrong and disinflated part of it and I think I opened the wrong valve. It was very loud. I was worried I was going to wake up my son and so I just closed it quickly and I did not try to adjust it again during the night and so I think that was a mistake on the Roamer. However, I think even if I had them inflated to the exact same specs, I think these would be too, they would be comparable on their comfort level of, of sleeping. So take that for what it's worth. I think they would feel similar sleeping on each of these. I've tried them both out here in my office with a similar level of inflation. And when you're inflating these, I definitely recommend let them self inflate, close them off right there. Don't over inflate them past that. Just get them to the point where the foam is supporting the, the pad and then close the valve. And that's where you're gonna get your most level of comfort. If you do that, you should not be touching the ground underneath it. It should be thick enough and supportive enough that you're, you know, even if you're sitting up that your butt's not touching or if you're side sleeping, that your hips not touching the ground. It should be plenty supportive. However, if you want something that's very supportive and firm, you can obviously inflate them. However, I think you're losing the efficiency of the, I mean, you're losing the comfort of the foam and you might as well just get an air mattress if that's the case, if you just need something that's like super firm and tight. My experience on the Elegear was also great. 
I think it's just slightly less comfortable than these two. Uh, I do. I did really like the integrated pillow on here, which I surprised. Which surprised me. I thought that that might just kind of be a useless feature. But being a side sleeper, I did actually really enjoy having the integrated pillow because that, with in addition, in addition to my camp pillow, really you know gave me a little bit of a boost on my you know where my head angle was, and so I did like that a lot. And I also like that for kids because. I uh, think, you know, especially <laughs> if your kids are anything like mine, they squirm all over the place, they lose their pillows, and at least that pillow will stay in place and they can always easily find where they can lay their head on that elevated pillow, integrated pillow there. And again, going back to the budget level, you know, the budget level camp pad for $79, this is an incredible value uh, that I think that you're going to be super happy with that. And I think that I would definitely recommend this as a kid friendly option it is a more durable material on the top uh, i think they all have the same material on the bottom but it feels more durable it feels like it's going to be super comfy for kids it's a little bit thinner so you know kids will be fine on the thinner pad and again the integrated pillow fantastic for kiddos that squirm around in the night now having said that at the current price it's uh, it's hard to beat the value that you're getting out of the Ampex camp bed. The, the current sale price is only $10 more than the Elegier's sleeping pad. And so, you know, it's hard to rationalize not spending the extra $10 to get a much more premium quality pad um, at this point. Um, if this were to go back to the normal price of $149, then you're going to have a lot more of a choice to make in my mind as far as, you know, budget level versus more premium option. When you get to the Nemo at $250, to me, it's very hard to rationalize spending $250 on this when you could get this at $150 or, or even less down at $89 right now. I don't think that this provides $250 worth of value compared to the Ampex Camp Bet um, or even the LE Gear. I think you're going to get a comparable night's sleep. Um, I think where this comes into play is in a little bit ease of packing it up and also in the storage. And one last nice thing about the Nemo is it does have the integrated grommets on it. And so it would be nice if you wanted to have a system where you could integrate multiple Nemo roamers if you, you know, wanted just one for yourself or occasionally you go with your wife or your kids and you wanted to bring two or three and you can stitch them together with the grommets then you know you could have like three roamers side by side and they're not going to slide apart so you're not going to be falling down in between them in the night or something like that that's a pretty cool feature on the Nemo roamer very simple um, but elegant solution I would love to see Ampex add that that would be a very simple add it wouldn't add much weight or or cost to the pad I don't think but um, that definitely feels like a premium touch that you're getting with the Nemo so overall on these, good, better, best, I would say Elgear, good quality. I would recommend it at that price point. Better, Nemo Roamer, very good quality. Obviously the Nemo brand, you know you're gonna get a premium quality product, but you're paying a premium quality price. But my best recommendation out of these three is definitely the Ampex Camp Bed. Uh, I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend this to all of you or anybody who asks, I would definitely vouch for this this pad especially at this price i mean it's practically a steal at 89 dollars. get that while you can if it's still at that price before it goes back up to the regular msrp definitely take advantage of that so let me know in the comments if you have any questions about these or any other pads and if you have a self-inflating sleeping pad that you love that you think i should check out let me know in the comments I'd love to hear about it. And if you wanna learn more about getting a good night's sleep while camping, where I talk about a piece of gear that is sure to help you get more sleep while camping. And don't forget, you got this, Dad.